Hey guys, my name is Kirsten Stevenson, and today I'm here with Brandon. Hi, and Brandon, where are we? We're at Keanu's Recital Theater. Um, it's a beautiful place where I'm going to be doing a talk on safety and uh, uh, talking to students and the community, and uh, it's a talk that'll save a life. Yes. So, what is the name of your event? The name of my event is um, something heavy, like the pole that landed on me. Um, it's called 18 the Day I Died. That's right. So that does sound pretty heavy. Okay. My first question, what is the one thing that you want your viewers to take away from your event on the day of? The one thing I want my viewers to take away from on the day of the event is that <laughs> safety is important and that there is a cost if you're not safe. Yes, absolutely. And the cost can be anything from a simple scratch to potentially your life of every day. Mentally, because everyone, we are all about our mental health, we know that. What has been the biggest change for you? Um, well, over the years, I've had a lot of changes. Um, a lot, to say the least. Yes. When I was 18, I was filled with hopes and dreams. Um, and then I got them literally crushed as a pole fell on me and I died. Um, and then, uh, you know, you, you, it always becomes hard to be hopeful. Mm -hmm. when you're struggling with constant chronic pain. Yeah. So the, it takes a toll on you mentally, it does. physically, emotionally, everything, right? Yeah, and so that that toll stays with you. And that's that's the that's the human cost is um, and that's what I talk about uh, with the title of the piece, 18 the day I died is that 18 year old who went to work, even though I'm still alive, that 18 year old is dead. Mm -hmm. And You're a new person now. whoever you are, when you get injured, is not going to be the same person as you were. No, no, I agree wholeheartedly. So, why do you think it's so important to talk to students about this then? I think it's important to talk to students about it because. Uh, new workers are three times as likely to be injured um, because of inexperience and them not knowing their rights. So a worker has the right to refuse work. Yeah, and a right to refuse unsafe work. And they can't get in trouble or anything like that for it, correct? Exactly. And so if you're about to do something that feels unsafe, take that time for yourself because it's not time that you get back. Exactly, exactly. So with all that being said, is there any other groups or anything that you would love to meet up with to spread awareness or? Um, I, I wanna meet up with everyone. <laughs> you <laughs> do. <laughs> I do. I, I want an injury-free Fort McMurray, I want an injury-free Alberta, and I want it to spread across Canada and just be a, a, a movement. Um, That's a really good word for it, movement. I like that. Yeah, because the the cost is too great. The cost is too great to the individual. The cost is too great to a business. The cost is too great to the province and mm -hmm. to the country. Yeah, exactly. And it's like it, a big ripple effect with everything. It is. And it's not just the uh, worker who gets injured. It's your entire family. Mm -hmm. It's your entire network. Yes. No, I totally agree. Okay, well, I guess we're going to wrap that up because we'll keep it short and sweet, just like yes. you said. And with that being said, it is a free event. So you can get tickets. Basically, the only reason why we're getting the tickets on Eventbrite is so that way we can keep track of how many people are going to come through. From Keanu. From Keanu. From Keanu. Not, yes, Keanu, not Eventbrite. My apologies. So it's totally free. And we're going to post the link below so that way you guys can just click on it. It'll have a bunch more information and we hope to see you guys there. We do. And I should say, it's totally free thanks to the RMWB. Yes, exactly. They provided a grant for this so that uh, I can talk to you and 
together we can keep the RMWB injury free. Exactly. Good job. Perfect. All right. We'll see you guys there. Thank you so much. Thank you.